Hey guys and welcome back to Homebrew where we're going to be building today a simple car because I've seen on the forums a lot of people have uh, had a few issues with how to build a car so we're gonna head down here now this isn't for complete noobs this is for people that have got the game as well and if you're new to the game welcome uh, hopefully this tutorial will help you on your way to making a working vehicle that you can drive around this lovely island in and uh, have a laugh and hopefully inspire you to build new and better and other stuff. So we're here in the builder um, and as you should know by now we have a parts list which is in here you click on the little plus and we have all the parts listings. Now I have already got all the parts out that we're going to need today and we will go through them in a sec but we are going to go through it like complete basics so if you know how to play the game already bear with us this is for the new people um, but we could always everyone could always do with a little freshener couldn't we now we have three buttons on the left hand side and they are numbered one two and three number one is your weld tool so that is the tool that you use to put all the components together number two is the um, properties tool it, um, so you can click on a component and it will show you the properties so we can't click on anything at the moment because there's nothing on the vehicle but we will go over that in more detail shortly the third um, option is the adjustment tool and that allows adjustments of um, adjustable um, components i.e. poles, um, panels, glass, that sort of stuff so we want to be on the weld tool so we'll click on the top one or press number one and we have this little green block in the middle and this is where we're going to be starting from guys so that's our spawn block, god block, orientation block may the force be with you block nobody knows what it quite does but it's important and we... where's it gone? where's the god block gone? oh there it is <laughs> right anyway what we're going to need is adjustable poles so they are adjustable pipes as you can see down the bottom left hand corner it's the one still showing up we are also going to need a display screen a speedometer a speedometer and also a toggle box we are going to need a simple falcon 6 now this is the green one not the red one make sure it's the green one we have a simple transmission single speed again make sure it's the green one not the red one red ones currently have bugs um, we also need four wheel hubs again green ones um, for previous reasons we need a seat so we have a bucket seat we need a battery for starting the engine and we need some fuel otherwise we're not actually going to go anywhere and that is the basic components of a simple vehicle that will be enough to just drive around this lovely place I'm not sure if you'll be able to get around the massive racetrack with it but we could always have a go um, so we're, I'm just going to throw together a little frame um, and hopefully people get some ideas now you should know by now how to connect components together so you click on the face that you want and you come over to the god block and we want to place these on now I've only got one out so I'm going to press left shift and that will allow me to place multiples of the same pole so we're gonna I'm just gonna make really a really simple frame guys it's gonna be a square with a seat in the middle and wheels on each corner basically and we'll put that one there and I made a boo boo so we need to spawn another one <laughs> uh, click up and onto there and now we should be able to get another one onto there and we are all set now next thing we want to do is grab the seat so we'll go down here we'll grab the seat we'll click on the back face and we'll just stick him on the front there perfect absolutely lovely now we want to get the fuel tanks so we'll get the fuel tanks we'll grab one of those and we will stick it onto come on and we're going to get the other fuel tank again click by the way guys feel free if you already know how to build to speed up to the bits that you want to know um, or slow down stop pause go and have a shower I don't mind I'm not bothered what you do really uh, <laughs> and then we want to come over here and we want the engine so 
you can move these things around just by clicking on them as well and getting the little yellow and blue balls up and you can just move them around oh, and I want that face there on the bottom of the engine and we're just going to stick him well that's a really weird place to put him but if you click the little blue ring down the bottom you can spin the engine round so that it is aiming the correct location now we want to put the gearbox in so we come down here and we'll click on the gearbox again same principle just click and place click and place it's a really lovely simple simple way of doing things and this game clips really nicely so you, things can fit where you wouldn't actually think things could fit uh, battery is what we want next and click on the battery oh where are we oh come here you bugger you little bugger and we will stick the battery just here under the seat give him a little spin perfect that's the battery in wouldn't even know he was there wouldn't know he was there okay now we need the toggle switch and the speedo so what we're going to do is click on the bottom of the toggle go back over here and we will stick that one on the side of the seat and because i like things to look right we're going to spin it if we can so it's straight it won't let me why won't you let me do it it's not letting me do it okay so that one won't be straight that's gonna have to my OCD is gonna have to deal with that I'm afraid but just don't look at that side of the vehicle it's bad news can we spin this one why can't I spin it god damn it anyway it's not important it's not important now vehicle is a bit on the wide side so this is where the adjustment tool comes in so we're going to click on the bottom one or press number three and we have these lovely little nodes and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little node and we want the blue one because the blue one will take that nicely in so we'll click on the blue one and just click and hold and the whole vehicle moves for some reason uh, is it that one then no it's not that one is it that one uh, it's not that one really you're gonna troll me like this are you game oh god damn it right grab hold of that one then no we can't even do that some of these little nodes get joined in together and then you have to do silly things there we go so we want to take that one to there and then we want to grab this one and push him in is that right? that's right so then we want to grab that one that side and do the same thing which I think is to there, that's it and then we want to grab this one and push it back over so it's there and all nicely lined up lovely now we want to get the wheels so we're going to click on the back face of the wheels now with the wheel tool so number one or the top button where did that go really you put in a wheel hub there really get off silly thing whoa and we're just going to click the wheel hubs, put them on the corners. So we'll grab another one. And we'll stick him on there. And then we'll grab another one. And we'll stick him on there. And then we'll grab the last one. And we'll stick him on there. Right. Now we're almost complete, guys. We almost made our little vehicle, almost. Next, we want to put the speedo on. Or the little little display screen so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this face here and then we are going to click on this face down here now I know it looks a bit crazy but bear with me we then click on the adjustment tool and you want to click on the one that you've just placed on so that's the top one you want to raise it up a little bit and then we'll drag it to the middle and we could probably take it up just a little bit more actually we'll leave it there and that will probably be in the right place and we literally 
click on a world tool. I keep forgetting it's it's really not, it's a really good system, but it takes a lot of getting used to having to click on the different things. So put the screen on there. Now we got speedo. Lovely, we've got speedo. Now that's pretty much our vehicle complete. I am going to do a few little tiny tweaks though. What we're going to do is we're going to make this fuel tank shorter. If we can, am I on the right one? No, I'm not. We want to be on the up and down arrow. And we're going to make a nice little fuel tank. And then we're going to stretch him out to about that long. That's nice. And then we'll do the same on this side. So we want to go down. And then we want this arrow. And we'll drag him across which I believe was that long. That's it, we're there. So guys, there's our fuel tanks. There's our engine, our gearbox, our seat, everything we need to make our vehicle go. Now, this is probably where a lot of you get a little bit stuck because your vehicles don't handle as well as you'd like them to. Um, so this is, this is where the quite technical part comes in of actually how to get your vehicle to drive. So what you want to do is click on number two or the middle tool, so the little hand tool, and you want to select a wheel hub and your wheels will appear. Now what you want to do is have a look around and make sure that all the arrows are at the bottom. So on every single wheel hub the arrow is on the bottom. Okay, and that indicates where the wheel is going to get traction. Now, we've already selected this wheel, which is this wheel here, and you can see the arrow is currently pointing in the wrong direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to click up here, is left wheel, and that will spin the rotation of the wheel, so now it knows it's a left hand wheel. And we'll do the same on the back one, boom, done, and while we're here, we're going to change the wheels. So we'll put the dirt wheels on, because I kind of fancy doing the dirt wheels, doing a dirt wheel. <laughs> So grab a dirt wheel for there and we'll go over to this side and that didn't work. Give me the wheel. Give me a dirt wheel. <laughs> oh, that's making me laugh. I'm laughing at my own jokes. How sad. Open wheel, dirt wheel, open. Right, so now we have the same set of wheels on all of it. Now. I'm going to change the wheel scale because I don't actually like the wheel scale, so I'm going to put in 0 0.5. We get tiny little wheels. That's a bit too small, so we'll put in 0 0.75. So it's a three quarter size wheel. It's not a bad size. Wheel width scale. I don't like the width of it, so we're going to double it. We've got some nice fat wheels. So we're going to roll, we're going to roll with those. We're going to roll with those. So now we're going to click on this one here. And again, wheel scale 0 0.75. Hit return. Wheel width, two. Bang. Spin around the other side. You know, and it's this. You can make the wheels different sizes, but you obviously you've got to make sure that um, pairs of wheels are the same size. So, i.e. the two front wheels have got to be the same diameter as two, you know, as each other, and the same with the rear wheels. Um, front to back, they don't have to be the same. Rear ones can be larger, smaller. It doesn't really matter. They just have to be the same side to side. So wheel width of two, and we are pretty much there. Now, we have our wheel set up, we have our vehicle built, we have a battery, we have fuel, we have an engine, we have gearbox, we have a seat. It, it looks pretty good. It looks all right. So what do we do now? Well, for those of you that already played the game, you're probably one step ahead of me, but for those that you haven't, you go up to the top, you click tuner, uh, click window, and then you want to open up your tuner. Now, you have this big lot in the middle here, which is basically everything that's on your vehicle. So I will get rid of this, and spread it all out, and I will come back and get you in a second, guys. Right then, guys, and we're back. And this is what it should look like once everything is all spread out um, nicely. Um, over here on the right-hand side, we have the two front wheels. Down the bottom, we have the two rear wheels. So we get to differentiate if you like between the two sets of you know, the two axles um, and it's a case of literally connecting everything together so we need
battery to start with so we'll click on the power out to electric um, and then the adjustable fuel tank obviously fuel out to fuel same with this tank fuel out to fuel and this is basically all you do is you connect like for like so activate to activate um, no sorry I was wrong there get rid of that one if you make a mistake you can press and hold left alt and then click and it will get rid of it for you but you want to go activate to toggle and then toggled to activate because that is now your ignition ignition switch um, we'll carry on down to the this one which is your speedometer so you want to basically your speedo is connected to the number display and that is it for that that one down the bottom you don't really have to worry about that the steer wheel hub again you don't really have to worry about that unless you've got something um, other than you controlling it so um, a modify box or a toggle box or something like that to control that but that's something for a different day uh, drive shaft so you want to click drive shaft to drive shaft obviously and then drive shaft to the rear ones and you can click that to that that's all connected and then you want to put last but not least on the bucket seat throttle to throttle now if you go up to the top here and click on edit click edit click lock camera your camera is now locked it will not move so you can take control of your vehicle from this window so if you click on bucket seat and then over here there's a little option for take control tick the little checkbox and you now have full control of the vehicle so if we click on the top box it's called activate so we'll leave it as activate it's a button type of press and we want to put that on X so we'll click on the box it will tell you to hold to assign the key it's now X and we'll click apply now if we press X you should hear the engine start we now have a started engine it's running and it stays on now if we press X again it, sh it will switch off and there's simple on off control for the engine now next box down is your throttle so you want to click on the empty box it's called throttle so we'll leave it it's on a button type so again we'll leave it on a button type and we'll press and hold W to give us our throttle control so we'll click apply and now if we were to press W you'll see it will move on this one and it will also be moving on this one and there's your throttle so we now have a throttle control so it's on or off so if we start and then use the throttle you can see the wheels are going, gearbox is moving, everything's beautiful. It's brilliant. So we click X again, turn it off. Now we want to be able to steer and stop this thing as well. So what we want to do over here is click on the plus and it will bring you up exactly the same as the above box, but you can change it. And again, we want to add another plus. So on the second down W, one that's not connected, I'm going to change that and we'll call it steer. Press return. And we want to click on the button button <laughs> funnily enough uh, click on it once changes to axis click on it again and it changes to button axis now you want to click on the top box press and hold d click on the bottom box press and hold a click apply and we should now have steering you can see it's moving in this box here now if we connect from steer to the two front wheels and then from steer to steer we should now have working steering so if we turn left oh it turns left it turns right it turns right so there we go we've now got working steering a working throttle and a working engine now we need to connect brakes so we'll click on the last box in the list we'll click in here and we will call it brakes we'll press return we'll leave that as a button We'll click on this box and we'll press and hold S. So now we have S as our brakes. We'll click apply. We'll click on the brakes box and we will click on brake input. And I'm just going to show you another little trick. If you press and hold shift while you have this line attached, you can put it on multiples. So you don't have to keep going across the page. And when you finish, let go of shift and you're still connected. Literally just click anywhere off of the pubs and it will disappear. So now we have brakes. So if we were to press S, it should activate over here. And now it's activating 
on all the wheel hubs. And that is quite literally all it takes guys to get your vehicle connected and working. Now, we're going to take it out into the world and we're probably going to lose control and spin round and all sorts of things because we haven't set any of the friction up yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to click exit, we're going to click save, we'll save it up, we'll go out into the world and we'll give it a little test. So we're out in the world guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in our vehicle. So we're going to press I and it's down here, start a car, we'll toggle, click it, we'll click open, throw our little thing up in the air and there's our car. Yay! So we're pressing and hold F and we're in our little car. Wow! Now we're going to press X and the engine should start. Perfect. Now if we press throttle. Yay! We're moving! Not very fast. Oh, and we're spinning round. Now that's the problem a lot of people are going to have. It doesn't seem to be going very fast. And it it doesn't handle and it spins round and all sorts of weird jazz so you get annoyed and you turn it off and you press escape and you jump out of it and you run up to your car and you give it a kick and you realize you can push it and you think well that's not right I shouldn't be able to push my car around have no fear click on I click on build open last project and I'll show you exactly how to sort it out guys So, our vehicle weighs 529 kilos. Now that's a fair weight, although it could be better. So, one way of sorting it out is think real world physics. It's not heavy enough, guys. So we're gonna spawn in a little ballast. Now the good thing about these ballasts are that they are adjustable. So you wanna find yourself a nice sort of centralized position uh, about there will do I think on the back and we'll click that and we will spin this round and our weight is too far back so we're going to take that off and we're going to find somewhere else to put it uh, we'll probably stick it on that one instead up she goes and the weight has now gone to the front so if we spin it to the and now it's to the back now that is an okay center of mass it's not a hundred percent we could probably get it better so if we'll click on let's go for this one here between the two switches we'll click on it again there our center of mass is now pretty much in the center it's quite low down which is where you want it it's pretty much in the center everyone's happy now that's just added a thousand kilos to our vehicle. Now that's far too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the toggle, the um, properties tool. We're going to click on the weight, and you can change the uh, the actual weight of this. So we're just going to add 500 kilos to it. So it weighs a little over a metric ton, a UK metric ton, 1,029 kilos. Um, so that's a weight that we put in there, which will help the vehicle. You also want to click on each wheel individually, come into here, and you want to change these settings down here. Now, I wouldn't recommend changing the forward friction. Anything more than a number one, i.e. 1.1, 1.2, 1.5, 2, 3, your vehicle will go backwards on its own. I do not recommend doing this. Um, any lower than one, I don't see, it doesn't seem to have an effect, but I can I can pretty much be certain that the closer to zero you get the less forward friction you're going to have therefore lots of wheel spin and no grip so I normally leave it on one sideways friction we'll start this one up and we'll put it on a two and we'll go the same for this side we'll put it on a two and the back wheel you want to put slightly higher Okay guys, because the rear wheels are doing the driving, you want to put the sideways friction for the rear wheels slightly higher. Too much friction on the front wheels, the back wheel slide. Too less friction on the front wheels, you have no steering. And 
you know, basically it, it it moves backwards and forwards. You've got to find a balance between the amount of sideways grip on the back and the amount of sideways grip on the front for your steering. Too much of either results in either understeering or oversteering. Um, there is one other thing that we need to address. Brake force. Currently have zero of brake force. So we have no brakes, basically, guys. So we're just going to throw in a nice 5,000 in there. 5,000 should be more than enough to stop a thousand kilos especially on four wheels but we do not have um, modern brakes i.e. ABS we have simple lock them up lock them up and slide boys so we'll set all them to 5000 hit return and then we exit oh no we don't one other thing that we should address while we are here is the gearbox so we'll go into the tuner we will click on the simple single gearbox and it gives us a gear ratio now gear ratios in this game are a funny old beast um, can't quite work them out at the moment the engines don't seem to have a very good torque curve so as you saw there we had it was moving very slowly but it was struggling so we need to somehow bring that down best way I found of doing it is set your gearbox to 0.5 now if we was to test that we'll go into edit lock camera start her up now if we was to hit go we're actually over revving now you can see it's bouncing the number is bouncing there that means we've got too much of a gear ratio so if we put it to 2.7 start it up again see if we can get it to balance I reckon we use 0 0.7 guys so we'll go file exit builder save save and we're back in the real world so press I click on your starter car click on open throw it in the air and there's your car and we're moving backwards why are we moving backwards stop now you see it's a bit more of a struggle to push sideways now we press and hold F we'll change the view quickly and we will hit X and we will drive and we're not actually going anywhere oh we are now and there you go guys our little car's working simple as that Whee! this is pretty smart and it actually drives pretty nice as you can see we'll be buzzing around the island now we haven't got a lot of steering but again that's just playing with the friction levels guys the sideways friction don't worry about the forwards friction once you've figured out how the sideways friction works then worry about the forwards friction but there you go simple as that now the only problem with the brakes on this as I said is we have full on lock up brakes well, they're not working they are working and uh, now they've locked but see how far it took us to stop it's not very good let's change the view and see if our speedo is working there it is down the bottom how fast does this baby go it's 100 are we going to crack 200 in this whoa it actually handles really nicely go on crack 200 oh 250 <laughs> wow let's jump out of it there you go guys simple vehicle it works go and have fun with it we're going to quickly jump in the builder and i'm going to see open last project i just want to see if that was miles per hour or kilometers an hour click on the tuner click on the speedometer down the bottom and it was in kilometers per hour so 200 and 50 kilometers an hour was it 240 kilometers an hour right so it's 62 miles an hour to 100 clicks so that was 120 miles an hour plus um, another 40k so that's probably another 25 miles an hour so 145 miles an hour in a single-seater four-wheeled cart have fun with it guys 
you've got any comments or messages, or if you'd like any tips or advice, I am on the forums. Leave a message on the forums or send it through to the channel, and I'll do my best to help you out. But until the next one, see you later.